2024 goes where no news crews have gone before, where scientists are fighting to save the lives of millions behind closed doors. Health experts here in Memphis and all around the world are seriously concerned right now about a new and deadly strain of bird flu that's emerging from China. Tonight, I'm going to take you to a high-security laboratory in Memphis, a place that most people don't even know exists, a place of deadly viruses and dedicated scientists, a place news cameras have never been allowed until now. We go behind closed doors. You're looking at the front line of a war against an enemy that could kill millions of people. This is the Biosafety Level 3 lab at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, known as a BSL-3. Researchers here are developing vaccines to try to stop an especially deadly version of bird flu. The potential threat is large. We just don't really understand how to quantify what that real threat is. St. Jude's Dr. Richard Webby is the scientist in charge, a world-renowned expert on flu virus. Essentially, we're funded by the U.S. government to sort of be in the trenches. The lab is part of the World Health Organization Flu Surveillance Network and studies live virus samples from around the globe. A TV news camera was never allowed until we were given exclusive access. To protect ourselves, we had to wear special filter masks and gown up in scrubs before even walking down the long hallway to the lab. Beyond the glass access door, scientists in the BSL-3 wear special suits with pressurized headgear to keep them from inhaling a virus known as H5N1. Kills 50, 60 percent of those people we know have become infected with that virus. For now, bird flu seems to infect mainly people with direct contact with poultry carrying the virus. On its own, it's, uh, it's probably not very infectious for humans, but if you do manage to contract it, then now it's a very serious infection. The fear is it will change into a form that easily transmits from person to person, causing a global pandemic similar to the 1918 Spanish flu, which led to mass quarantines and killed as many as 100 million people. What makes a essentially a chicken virus change to become a human virus? You know, and, you know, we don't really know. At the St. Jude lab, the virus is injected into fertile eggs as part of the process of creating new vaccines. Since the virus is constantly mutating, vaccines against it have to change too. There is an inherent risk. I guess there's a risk with anything we do, just from the nature of the organisms we're working with. But it is work scientists at St. Jude have been doing successfully for decades. If we want to get the answers to the questions we need, then it's sort of work that has to go on. Now, a virus escaping the lab, that would be a problem. And that's why air flows only one direction into the lab. On the way out, it passes through filters to make it clean. Security is high because in the wrong hands, those viruses could be used as a biological weapon. The decision was made to let us in in the name of transparency and education. If there's some place you'd like us to go behind closed doors, just let me know about it on our Facebook page at Local Memphis or email me at doors at localmemphis.com. I'll try to open some of them for you.